So what we gotta do is figure out if this is possible or impossible. So we have cosine of theta is three over two and secant of theta is two over three. So what we need to imagine when we're seeing these type of problems is a graph. So the graph that we should be, so the first one we should be thinking of is y equals cosine of x. So this is just regular old cosine graph. So what is the graph of cosine? Normal graph of cosine goes all the way up to 1 and it goes as low as negative 1 and it kind of has one of these and it just keeps going forever, right? Both ways. But we're just going to focus on one section. So let's look at the y value. What is the biggest y value that you'll ever have? It's 1. It touches 1. So the biggest y value that you could ever have is 1. So what you're basically saying is no matter what theta you plug in, cosine of whatever could only equal at most 1. So can cosine of theta ever equal 3 halves? So 3 halves would be somewhere around here. It's a little bit bigger than 1. So this would be impossible. So now secant. What does the graph of secant look like? Remember, to graph secant, we first have to graph cosine. So then we draw the asymptotes for cosine. And then the max and mins would go in the opposite direction. So how high did cosine go from our previous example? is 1. And the lowest would be negative 1. So what would be the range of this? Remember, range is what are your y values. So when you're thinking about your y values, think about it as up and down. How down will this go? All the way down to negative infinity. And how high? It goes all the way up to negative 1. Now, does it touch negative 1? It does. So it does go all the way to 1. And it does touch it. And then it stops for a while. And it doesn't go again until 1. And remember, it does touch 1. And then it goes up all the way until infinity. So this is your range. So we're going to think of the same way. Secant of any x that I plug in, will it ever equal 2 thirds? No, right? Because where is 2 thirds? 2 thirds is less than 1. Now does the graph even go through 2 thirds? No, right? It doesn't. Remember, we're focusing on the solid lines. So this also would be impossible. So here's another problem for possible or impossible. So now we have tangent of theta equals negative 2.3. So the first thing that you should be thinking to yourself is what does the graph of tangent look like? So tangent looks kind of something like this. Then we should be looking at how high and how low this tangent goes. So it goes high, it goes forever, right? So it goes to infinity. And then, then down here it goes to negative infinity. And then you just have to ask, where would tangent of theta be negative 2.3 on the graph? We call it right here. So since this graph goes down to negative infinity, then tangent of theta of negative 2.3 is possible. And a good way to remember is just think that since tangent and cotangent range is negative infinity to infinity, tangent a theta to be any number. Now let's do another one. We're going to do cosecant of theta equals negative 3.5. Personally, I don't really like working with cosecant, so what we're going to do is change this to sine because it's, it's reciprocal. So we're going to rewrite it as negative 1 over 3.5. So what is the range of sine? So negative 1 and 1. So this one, we don't even really have to draw the graph. Now it is sine in the range of negative 1 and 1. It is, right? Because it falls somewhere in between here. So we're going to say this one is possible. If the terminal sides of an angle lies along the y equals 0 line, which trig functions are undefined? So if the terminal side lies along the y equals 0 line, what's the y equals 0 line? That's where I drew this orange line right here. So it's a horizontal line. So if that's the terminal side of an angle, which trig functions are undefined? So if the terminal side of an angle lies along this line, you either have 0 degrees 
or 180 degrees. So where do all functions start? The positive x-axis. So my terminal side has to end on the y equals zero line. So here, if it starts here and it ends and this is the terminal side, this is my angle to zero degrees. Then the other one, if it starts here and it ends here, then you have our 180 degrees because it goes all the way on the other side, right? So what functions are undefined? So it's tangent undefined at zero? Tangent of zero is zero, right? What's the reference angle of 180 degrees? Zero, right? So tangent of zero is zero. So we're basically talking about the same angle in both cases. Tangent of zero is zero. So what is undefined then? So what is sine of zero degrees? It's also zero, right? So what would cosecant be? So that would be one over zero. And we know anytime anything is over zero, then we know that's undefined. How about cosine of zero? Cosine of zero is one. So secant of zero, what's secant of zero? It's also one, if it's reciprocal. And then how about cotangent? Cotangent of zero degrees would be one over zero. Remember, cotangent x over r. So that would also be undefined. So our answers to this question would be cosecant and cotangent.